not limited to just using one aggregate, we just have to make sure all of our output values are aggregated. I think I mentioned that earlier, we can't use an extra column with it. So we can just put as many as we want on the same line. I'm going to do a select star from account to start so that I can get IntelliSense to help me along the way. All right. Now, uh, just a little tip for you. Um, if we are uh, just grabbing everything where, let's say, where our um, study subject or, or area of study is maybe graphic design. I think there's a graphic design area of study on there and only for active accounts. All right. Um, and I'll show you the little formatting thing while we're at it. Okay. So let's do, um, let's just grab ACK budget and we want to uh, not format that yet. <laughs> let's get uh, minimum. So the lowest budget that somebody has, maximum budget, budget, right? And maybe want the average as well. Okay. Now one thing, let's just add in our column headings here. Average, budget. Notice I'm just using read uh, human readable column headings right now. It's not something you would typically want to do, but we'll do it for output purposes right now. So max budget and as min budget. Okay. Now something you can do, remember that format thing we did there, okay? So first let's see what we're looking at. All right, this is one way to do it. We do this and you can see we've got two character or sorry, two decimal places, two decimal places because our minimum and maximums are pretty exact, but when you run the averages, it allows for more decimal places. And we don't want that. It's money that we're trying to output. So let's make it look like money. So we can do format, put in our original result from the minimum, put a comma after it and follow it with, just put a C in there. I believe a lower case C will work, I believe an uppercase C will work as well, but let's try that first, just so you can see what I'm doing here, and then it formats it as currency. Now that is local specific, so you, if you've installed a version of SQL that's you know from uh, another country and uses a different dollar value, that C will use that different um, type of currency. So again, we can just continue along with this. We can go format, put a bracket there, after the bracket for average, we put in another comma, put in the second argument, we formatted them all, and it comes out really nice looking. Okay.